Hello, I'm Steve Tussey, a candidate for Madison County Jailer. And with more than 35 years of experience and over 3,000 hours of training, I know what it takes to manage a safe, secure, and humane jail. I ask for your vote and help me, Steve Tussey, become your Madison County Jailer. Did you get your I Voted sticker today? WBON TV was out at the polls too and witnessed quite the voter turnout. From WBON TV.com, I'm Riss Hempel and it's time for yet another edition of your Tuesday afternoon news brief. Despite polls being about to close, it's not too late to get out there and vote still. However, this morning, WBON TV had received multiple reports that Clark Morris in particular were having voter machine issues. We were told by officials that voter turnout has been higher than ever before and there was a protocol being implemented to take care of the issue. They asked that everyone be patient to not pass up on casting your ballot despite the long lines that we saw throughout the day. Also, make sure to watch and listen to all of our live election coverage on WBONW.com, on our socials, and of course on the Coyote WKXO and 99.3 WRV beginning at 6 p.m. As Kentucky has garnered national attention for some of these races, there's no better time to tune in to find out the results first for your local midterm elections. After only 24 hours, a donor has been located for the Scott County firefighter who is in desperate need of a lung transplant. Johnny Jacobs is fighting a degenerative lung condition and was in critical condition over the weekend. He had worked his way to battalion chief of the fire department after working for more than 20 years. Now that he's been located a healthy set of lungs, they ask that all in the area pray that the transition goes smoothly. Recently paralyzed on the job, Deputy Jamie Morales in Scott County donated half of his t-shirt sales to help the firefighter in his same county. Kentucky State Police recently took two men into custody for trafficking following a traffic violation. According to troopers, the driver, 46-year-old James Johnson, stepped out of the car following the stop and allowed a search. Suspected heroin and brass knuckles were found on his person. Suspected marijuana was also located in the car and a white powdery substance. A passenger, 24-year-old Anthony Mitchell, was also in the car and he produced a large sum of cash. Both were taken to the detention center and charged with first-degree controlled substance trafficking. Johnson was also charged with possession of multiple substances and carrying a concealed weapon. And finally, a Lexington man was recently taken to custody on a Madison County warrant after he allegedly violated a domestic violence order. The warrant states that 34-year-old John Williams had been ordered to not speak to the victim, but he still went to their home and demanded to take a car. He then allegedly tried to back the vehicle out of the driveway while the victim was allegedly still in the hood. He was arrested and lodged in the Madison County Detention Center and also charged with wanton endangerment. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.